What's up everybody, it's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today I'm going to show you the Tabula Rasa. It is a DIY Euro Rack module. It's a wavetable oscillator that allows you to uh, install your own wavetables into it and create new wavetables. It has a wave select, wave blend, which is your interpolation between wavetables, and your frequency. Uh, wave select and wave blend are also controlled by CV and you have a control amount and there's also a software editor that comes with it. Let me show you the software editor now. The software editor allows you to load samples in as wavetables and modify them or create your own wavetables from scratch. You can also prehear those wavetables. Now what I can do is go to harmonics and when I turn this on you'll hear the harmonic. I can add harmonics in. Or I can load a sample in. I can also change that sample around a bit. I can decimate it. And of course you can change it once it's been decimated. Exponential, circular, cosine, sigmoid. The sigmoid is kind of like a sine and then linear is more straight. So you can go through and pick 64 wavetables to install into it. Once you've done that, you just print that file to an SD card, pop it in the tabula rasa, and then turn on the power, and it will load the DAT file, and you'll be all set. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Let's pull up the uh, scope. And you'll hear some glitching right now. That that seems to be like a intermittent thing with the Tabula Rasa. Sometimes it'll glitch like that when you put it in certain settings, uh, certain frequencies. Sometimes it won't. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to the Tabula Rasa as we sweep through it. I will say the frequency knob is very touchy. Um, I'm debating on putting a 10 turn potentiometer on here to make it a little less touchy. Uh, wave blend. Now what I've found is the glitching sounds can come when the wave select is kind of in between two waveforms and it kind of will intermittently jump back and forth. Again, this might be solved by using a different style potentiometer. Um, I don't know at this point. Now 
Now, an interesting thing you can do with this is to go ahead and just send uh, send different sound out or modulation out to the uh, the wave select, and I'll do that now. Let's just grab a cable here. We'll come out of the maths. We'll go into the wave select. So you can get these interesting glitchy sounds out of it. Let's go straight out of an oscillator. Go up into audio range with the modulation. Now I'm noticing that when I go into my wave blend, I'm basically getting the same modulation sounds. Um, I don't know if that's something wrong that I've done or a glitch on the board or what. I'm further looking into that. But as you can see, wave blend right now is doing the same thing when I modulate it. <laughs> Now, when you layer it with other oscillators, it brings in some really nice new timbers. So, we'll, we'll check this out. So far I found that it tracks well over about four octaves. So that's the Tabula Rasa DIY Euro Rack Wavetable VCO. Um, it's kind of quirky, but very cool sounding, very fun to play with. You can get some interesting sounds out of it. I love the editor on it. Um, just a nice module to have in your Euro Rack if you want to get some different kind of weird wavetable sounds. Mm -hmm. 